We've all been waiting for a certain Fabrizio Romano to tweet those lovely three words, but we have to wait no longer. Here we go. Man United have agreed a deal to sign Donny van der Beek from Ajax. Here are all the details. United sent a bid which was agreed on 40 million euros plus add-ons. Paperworks and medicals will be completed this week. Now, there's no reason why this medical won't be completed in the next 48 hours, and I'm hoping that we can get Van der Beek announced before the end of the week. Man United return to pre-season training this week. Happy fucking days. And Fabrizio went into a little bit more detail on the whole transfer situation over on his Instagram account. He said that United sent a bid and Ajax accepted without any negotiation and pointed out towards a strong relationship between Edwin van der Sar and Manchester United as to why this deal was completed so quickly. Van der Beek, personal terms until 2025, all done. So Ajax there accepting United's bid without negotiations. It's amazing what happens when you offer a club the value that they want for the player they are selling and how quickly negotiations can happen, eh? But all that aside, Edwin van der Sar, cheers for that big man. Van der Beek, Van der Beek, however you say his damn name, I'm always getting names wrong. But Van der Beek for 40 million euros plus add-ons, which I think goes up to around 45 million. That really, I can't get my head around the staggering value of that, given that we've been linked with 70 million to sign Jack Grealish, who just about avoided relegation, and 40 million for David Brooks, who didn't avoid relegation. It goes to show how overinflated the prices are in the Premier League when someone like Van der Beek, who's 23, who's been at the Ajax Academy since he is 11, who got to the Champions League semi-final, was a huge part of that team and sensational team that was built by Ten Hag, that had De Ligt, that had De Jong, that had Van der Beek. He was a key member of that. And he's only going to cost 40, 45 million euros. That's outstanding value. And it is an outstanding signing by United. It begs the question, why couldn't we have done this six weeks ago? Because the, the value was still there. Van der Beek would have cost 40 million. Van der Sar was there. Everything was there six, five, six weeks ago. But I can't complain too much because it's happened before the season starts. And Van der Beek is a major signing. Don't People are going to be like, oh, look, we've got Bruno. We've got Pogba. Yeah, we do. But we need two to, to win the Champions League and to win the Premier League, which is United's ambition now. Well, it should be anyway. You need two top quality players in every single position. Therefore, Van der Beek is a signing that we did need. It's not the signings that we need this summer in terms of the right wing, the defensive mid and the centre-back. As far as I'm concerned, they're the three main priorities. But we need Van der Beek for that squad depth so that players can be rotated and every single game we can have a top quality 11. And Van der Beek brings that to the team. And Marcus Rashford is clearly excited about the signing. See here over on Twitter, him liking Fabrizio's tweet. And this, there's, there's some sort of romance, I suppose, with signing Dutch players or Ajax players. They're bred differently. The Ajax Academy is one of the most famous in the world for a reason. They create beautiful footballers. Ball-playing, creative playmakers like Van der Beek will be an asset to Manchester United will be an asset to any team, I would say, in the Premier League. And he really looks like a Solskjaer signing. Somebody who's young, who's clearly got quality, but clearly has room to get better, has a great work ethic, has goals in him, creative, attack-minded. Just there's no reason not to be buzzing about the idea of Van der Beek in a United shirt. And we should see that, an official announcement by the end of the week. And it should hopefully be the start of what I feel will be a crazy couple of weeks in Manchester United because those three priority signings still exist. Right wing, centre-back and defensive midfielder for me are the three priorities this summer. You've got the Times saying that Solskjaer still wants those three signings and Van der Beek should be the beginning of United's transfer madness rather than the only part of it. Now, it shouldn't have happened this late. And when we reflect after the transfer window, that will be one major thing that we all agree on, that United didn't act decisively early enough, but it doesn't mean that we can't make up for our errors between now and the end of the window. It's just that we've got to fit a hell of a lot into a short space of time. Now, with van der Sar at Ajax, with United being willing to pay the fee that Ajax wanted, 
and Van der Beek wanting to join United, it was a perfect storm. Things happened quickly and it was a perfect sort of transfer. A couple of days ago, it, there wasn't really any noise. Then out of nowhere, it exploded and it happened and it got sorted within 72 hours. That is what you want to see from United. That is acting decisively. A little bit late, but better late than never. And that's the way I really feel about Van der Beek. And when you have a quick look at the stats of Van der Beek out in Ajax, it, yes, he is a creative, attack-minded player, but he's also got that defensive work rate. He was the fourth highest tackler per game in the Ajax squad last year. And that really goes to show that he's one of those classic box-to-box -box midfielders, someone who's capable of going forward, but not afraid to put the work rate back in defence, a bit like Bruno Fernandes. So you can see the reason why it's a good signing, and you can see exactly how, when Bruno needs a rest and Van der Beek comes in, United shouldn't lose too much in terms of the overall flow and the tempo of the game. Whereas right now, if you take Bruno or Pogba out, United play a different style of football. Someone like Van der Beek comes in, we have the ability to continue that through games and through rotations. That is such an important thing. But Van der Beek to Man United, here we go. We are now just an official announcement away from seeing Van der Beek in a Man United shirt. How buzzing are you? How excited are you? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new and share this on Facebook. But Van der Beek is nearly, nearly a red.